Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. <laughs> I've got something in my throat there. <laughs> in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Macaulay, aka the Macho Man, McGowan. That's me, the Macho Man, McCall McGowan. I gotta get a goddamn hell yeah in this place. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I don't know, I, I, I forgot what my first question was gonna be, Macho Man. Um, ah, yeah. You've got a tough opponent ahead of you in uh, Tucson by Kalak Mitt. Um, he's only had one professional fight. You've had 15, I believe. Yep. They seem confident to come over and take on somebody with 15 professional fights and only the second pro fight. So they're, they're here to fight. They're, they're, they seem confident. Yeah, you know what? I'm all sweat. You know, fuck him and fuck his team. You know, like, I forget this mask as well. I, I don't care. Like, I know, I know the script. Like, of. I had to look for a, a tough opponent who's not really going to cause him a threat, but he's going to look amazing on his record and, you know, it qualifies for an international title fight, which gives him a ranking. But it's not going to be the case. Like, I know what they expect of me. I think I've seen that you said he watched me on YouTube, but well, good, keep watching me on YouTube because what he's seen on YouTube is a fat idiot walking forward. Well, he's going to, when the first couple of rounds come, he's going to see something completely different and that uh, I do believe I'll, I'll beat him. Like, honestly, like, I know, like people turn up, and and I know how it goes. Like they, they, they put their hands open, and they think they're gonna walk down the the, the slick amateur, and, and they're banking on him, like tiring. And then you watch the fight unfold, and it just ends up being the good amateur and knocking fucking ten bell the shit out the, the the seasoned professional. But it's not gonna be the case. I'm hungry. I'm young myself. Like if it was a bit older and stuff, you might think, oh whatever. But I'm young and hungry myself, and I I want the world rank and I wanna yeah I think I've seen somebody before saying, you know, challenge for world titles in the next twelve months. Well well that's what I want, so bring it on. I right. it's a perfect opportunity for me and I'll be him. Do you, I'm not gonna give too much of what we said in there, but you were talking uh, with a few of us in, in the room there and how what he does and what he doesn't do and what you need to do to beat him. Have you came up with a, a, the almost I wouldn't say well. I probably will say the perfect game plan. Or you come up with a game plan. I don't yeah, think it is. Him. I don't think it is the perfect game plan. Mm -hmm. I just think I don't watch him too much either on YouTube. Like you watch clips, you see how they handle certain situations. He's only got one profile on there, so can't really take much from that. But you just come up with a certain way, and I believe what I'm gonna do will will secure me the victory. But if I go out and it's completely different, it's completely different, and I, it's just, you just walk out there and you, it's the first round or whatever, you know how it's going to go, and you decide from that point, I I think anyway. But like I say, you just fucking go out there, don't you? Just start throwing some fucking punches and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game plan then. Yeah, hey, the game plan is fucking go to war, isn't it? Like, you know, I, I, I'd say go to war and like what day is it tomorrow? It's the eleventh, the eleventh in it. Mm -hmm. It's like the actual remembrance day. So it seems bad saying go to war because we're not going to war, are we? We're going, for, we're going for a boxing fight. But you know when it's too many like combat and it's it, tempers are going, mate. It is, it is. You could say yeah, it's a war, but yeah, we're just gonna go out there and we'll let punches fly, and I, and I know I'm gonna win, and I just know I'm gonna win. So that's know. good that you've got that confidence because, like I said to you, the confident. That his amateur record speaks for itself in yeah. terms of who he's beat. Like this Israel Madrimov, he's beat three times yeah, amateurs. That, that, you know, that. so they sing his praises. And if you get the win over him, then that propels Macaulay McGowan, aka Macho Man. The Macho Man, woo! woo. <laughs> <laughs> that propels you at the top of the tree, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Like you just take it one fight at a time, and like I, I, I get, I get. Like I think, what is he? Um, He's had two fights for that Madrimov, one each, and like that Madrimov has stepped up fairly fast. Well, he's trying to step him up fairly fast and get some on there. I don't know; it's not for me to worry about. But I, I, they dropped a bullet fighting me. They should have got someone else in if they wanted to go down that route and fast track him. Because world titles can be bought and, and whatever, but this is true competition tomorrow, and he, he's dropped a bullet fighting me because I'm, I'm coming for a fight and I'm a fighting person, so. When it gets hard, I'll go harder. There's 
He made the weight the first attempt, but there was sort of like he kept on checking his his weight mm. throughout the morning three, four, oh, five okay, times. Yeah. Do you think he he's struggling at this weight, or do you think it was just the travelling and whatnot? Yeah, I, I think I think at an elite level they, they do struggle, but the thing is, right, you get these good amateurs. What do they box at? You see a lot of big seventy-five kilos coming down to the light middleweight limit, which is seventy k. But they've got to raise into it, so they think, oh, I've got a day before weighing, I can just cut weight. And But they've got to raise into it. If you look at the, the other lads, maybe even Fowler, for instance, or whatever, he's a big lad for light middle. Yeah. I'm going on about it now, but, but this is, I'm just airing what no, I think. Quite so he, he, he's a big lad, but he had to go through like not as tough tests early on. So he got used to getting the weight down, you know, stepping up through the rounds with lesser competition, and then eventually. They're now letting him sort of fly, sort of thing. But whereas with this guy, I, I, he's boxed that heavy weights than amateur. He, he must think, oh, he's got a day before weigh and he can do what he wants and whatever. But it's going to be hard in there for him. And like, I've I've done silly things before to cut weight, so I know how it is. And but I've done it against lesser opposition where I've kind of in control and I've still felt it. So when it's the fourth, fifth round and I'm still there in front of him later on and I'm still in him with shots and shots that he weren't getting it with because he was sharp at the start, he's now getting it with and it gets hard for him. We'll see what he's made of, won't we? But I don't think he'll be able to hack it to be honest. But you know what, right? Even if right, he makes the weight fine and it was all he just misjudged it. He had to make the weight. Fuck it, I'm still gonna beat him. Don't matter. Like, so I don't take much confidence from that. Anyway, it's just, just like little things that you think about. We're in that room all day. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just think about things. So, you think you can stop him? Yeah, yeah. 100%. It, you're gonna get your opportunity to land at some point. No, no matter who you are, him, me. You're gonna get your opportunity to land. What do you do when, when you do land and you get him? You got. You know, it's it's all it's all there, ready to go. I'm talking a bit too much, but it's all there. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight, but you don't have to panic. I'm gonna get my opportunity to land. I will land, and whether it's early on or late on, I I, I I know I can stop him. Whether I do stop him, I don't know, but I know the opportunity will be will present itself to stop him. It's up to me to take it. Thing is, well, what does this? As far as WBC international title, it's actually still on that table. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, just, is it? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> for this title here. Uh, shall we shall I turn the camera on? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I don't know if you should be doing this, like, but. It looks good with my macho man. I gotta get a goddamn hell here in this place. <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> you, <laughs> you better sit down, man. Don't, don't, don't break the belt. Don't break the belt. Uh, yeah, that's a nice, it's a nice title. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it look good. Uh, I'll be able to uh, let the kids run right with it, and then do the rounds around the amateur gyms with it. Look like I'm somebody for a, for a few days, and then I'll end up behind my sofa. So, so it means something to you. Then. <laughs> it means something to you if you win. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll end up behind my sofa. And then, uh, I think I had a question. They said, "What does it mean if uh, for this belt?" You know what? In tomorrow night, right? It means everything because you're you're in that. What you're in the ring for an hour or something? It mm. means everything. When I get out of that ring, right? It means absolutely nothing. On to the next one, whatever. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Let's go. Like Bob's your uncle. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's a good way to look at it, man. It's a good sort of mindset that you've got. You seem relaxed. You're smiling. You're laughing. You're having a good time with the Marshall Man, Randy Savage stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've got to ask. Tyson Fury sent you a message. Yeah. Good luck. I mean, what does that mean for you, the heavyweight, the, the heavyweight champion of the world? Wishing you good luck. You know what, right? It's great that he is, and um, I've had a, I've had a few. But Tyson, it's hard to get my head around that he's actually like people that don't know him see him as this, this like he is the champion. He's the main man. He's he's unbelievable. But like I was there in Jimmy Egan's with him, watching him train when no one had a clue who he was. And like people didn't think, oh, this big lump of ever is he any good? And I used to sing his praises at school. I, I tell tell everyone about him when he was 17. And I remember telling everyone he's going to beat David Price. He's going to beat David Price. And unfortunately, it just come a bit too early for him. That was at the Women's Show Forum. So I've known Tyson a long time. I used to bunk off school, run down to the gym because the gym was literally I'd stick my head out the window. I can see the gym, and I'd, I couldn't be bothered training myself. But I'd just sit there and watch him train. And uh, so it's glad that I'm, it's nice that he's still like. You know, keeps an eye on us, and you know he, he keeps in touch, and he sent us that message. So yeah, it means the world to us. Yeah. 
Definitely. Well, McCoy, I know it's the, the, the food just arrived at our bedrooms. Uh, you hungry still? Uh, you know what? It's, it's, nah, I'm alright, you know. I'm yeah. starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. I'm starving. I want to get this food. But, McCoy, good luck tomorrow night. No, I'm really you. looking forward to this fight. It's, uh, unfortunately, Lee McGregor fight was called off. It was a main event I was looking forward to. But this yeah. is definitely one I'm looking forward yeah, to. It's yeah, definitely a good main event. So, good luck. Uh, I know that we'll see you around the hotel. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well done, nice one, so Thank you very much, mate. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.